I'm just like, why do you need all these supplies? What are we doing? Um, where are you storing this stuff? What is this for? Hey, everybody. Hey, family and friends. Happy Friday. I've just pulled into Walmart's lot to do some back to school supply shopping. Um, the list is pretty ridiculous. So I don't know if it's like a fifth grade thing or after COVID thing. And, you know, educators are trying to stock up. But the list is pretty extensive and pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Because I do work in the education field. But I just believe that some of these supplies are unnecessary now again I do want to reiterate I don't have a problem with buying school supplies for my child because I know she needs them I'll even buy extras for other kids who may need them but some of this stuff is pretty extensive let me read you the list okay so for a homeroom class they need this is just for homeroom two packs of 24 count pencils two packs of white root paper two containers of Clorox wipes, two boxes of tissues, one bottle of sanitizer, one package of Expo dry markers, a box of band-aids, 200 pack of index cards, a pack of large garbage bags, one three by three post-it notes, one inch binder, one small individual hand sanitizer. Okay, so this is just for home room, okay? Home room. What I don't understand is why they need, one, a box of Band-Aids. So you're going to have a box of Band-Aids from 25th graders just for homeroom. Two containers of Clorox wipes. I understand you're going to go through those, so that's no problem. But the part that gets me is one package of large garbage bags. Like, why? Doesn't the school supply garbage bags? What are we using these for? It goes on and gives a list for language arts, for science, for social studies, and for math, which those are all fine. But I'm going to turn this around and just show you all. I'm trying to cover up some personal information on here. Just show you all the list. Like, look at this. So, this is for homeroom. This is just homeroom collected in homeroom class. So yeah, that's my rant. I'm just like, why do you need all these supplies? What are we doing? Um, where are you storing this stuff? What is this for? Are we restocking after COVID? Like, what is it? I'd rather pile up on the center side. You don't need 20 packs of Band-Aids, 20 boxes of Band-Aids. You don't need that. You don't need 20 boxes of garbage bags. You don't need that. I mean, I work, I'm in education. We gotta quit asking for ridiculous things. And if we're asking for things that seem ridiculous, we need to be explaining what this is used for because, you know, this stuff is expensive. And for parents who have more than one kid, it's, it's getting pretty pricey. But anyway, I'm still going to get what she needs. I'm still going to help out other kids because that's just what I do. But I'm just thinking in general as a parent, an like overall parent they're going to be having some questions and somebody will have to do some explaining but anyway enough with my rant let's go on in walmart typically walmart has better sales for me in my years of experience for your crayons your pencils your things like that when compared to the dollar store because remember at the dollar store everything is, is a dollar so to me it's not a deal so we're going to go into walmart see what they have and try to beat the crowd let go This is the dirtiest little Walmart ever, y'all.
pack for five of them. They have their crayons for 25 cents, but we don't like the crazy art. We are a Crayola only family just because they do color better. And I always just get more of these because I am going to make an extra couple book backpacks to give out to somebody who might need them. And they have the crazy art markers. I'm gonna get some of these. And the Crayola marker is washable, 97 cents. They have the things. I will do the scissors. You get a two pack for 97 cents. You can't beat that. Grab a couple of dolls and the color pencils. Crazy art color pencils work fine. to start off because I do have set at home. I have pencil stuff in here for 47 cents. This whole bin is 47 cents. I got some other pencils for the extra book bag. Couple erasers, chopper keepers. Folders and the composition books, which are right here. So she needs two blue composition books. And they're 50 cents. And she needs two yellow. regular Need some Ziploc baggies and some folders. All right, here are the solid folders. And I am looking for the plastic ones. They last longer. They cost more, but they're more durable. So we need the ones with the prongs in them. These are a dollar 
47, the five star with the palms. So let's grab some of these. Here we go, bam. Last one till they get home. Now we need Kleenex, sanitizer, and maybe those garbage bags. They said Clorox. Don't get nothing else. So we do need sandwich bags. The better deal would be from the dollar store. You'll save 68 cents. But since I'm here and I'm not going anywhere else, that's what it'll be. So we'll just get the three packs. We are finished school shopping for fifth grade. And we're gonna go home and check out this list and make sure we have everything we need. And until next time, thanks for shopping with It's Beyond G and we'll see you soon. Be safe and be blessed. All right, so I ended up spending $65. And 11 cents and as you can see I purchased pretty much all of our school supplies plus got enough to do four extra book bags and then I'm gonna make up four additional school bags and I'm gonna just have them available for anybody's child who's in need you know it takes the village to raise our kids and we have to look out for each other that's what life is all about but I'm very pleased with the amount that I spent here at Walmart they never fail every year all in all um, they did have everything I needed I just didn't know where the index cards were but I'm very pleased with that thanks for watching I'll see you all next time <laughs>